Merry Meet and welcome to episode 7 of Kitchen Witch Table Talks where we are continuing our look at advice for beginners. My name is Leandra Witchwood and today I'd like to talk to you about keeping your sense of humor as a beginner and as a practitioner of an esoteric path. Keeping your sense of humor is critical. This is a path of enlightenment. It's a path of ascension. It's a path of discovery, self-discovery, magical discovery. And you don't want to become overwhelmed. Now, don't get me wrong, that is inevitable. We're going to be overwhelmed. I get overwhelmed all the time and I've been doing this for years. But that doesn't mean you have to stay there. And a sure fire way to get yourself out of overwhelm, to launch yourself a little bit more toward your goals, is to keep a light heart, have a sense of humor, Go ahead and laugh at yourself when you make a mistake. Nobody's going to point their finger at you and say, bad you. <laughs> Instead, it's going to remind you that there is beauty on this path. There is playfulness on this path and there is joy on this path. And you have every right and, and you should create every opportunity to enjoy the energies all around you. And I often find that those who have been on this path for a long time and more often lately, newbies becoming very, very serious right away. And that leads to most, more often than not, becoming a little jaded on the path and a little too harsh. We can't know it all. There's a universe of knowledge out there for us to know. So definitely we're not gonna know it all in one spell swoop. It's gonna take time. Allow yourself that time. Give yourself a break, just like I discussed before in my other episodes in the beginning of the series. Be patient with yourself, give yourself a break, and learn to laugh, learn to enjoy the journey. So I hope that gives you some valuable information to use on your path. And as always, please visit my website and my blog site, leandrawitchwood.com and themagickitchen.com for more information, tips, tricks, recipes, and of course, online classes you can take to enrich your journey. So until next time, I wish you the brightest of blessings.